KTAR, Eyes on Parenting. Kids these days, am I doing enough? Am I doing too much? This is KTAR's Eyes on Parenting. I'm Corbin Carson. Today I'm joined by Mike Weinstein with It's Business Time here on KTAR. Today we're talking about entrepreneurs. Why should parents consider teaching their children how to be entrepreneurs? Well, I think for one, uh, you know, as parents, uh, we, we do want the best for our children. We want them to succeed and do better than we've done. And, you know, for me, I want my kids to understand what entrepreneurship is, have that opportunity to to learn the principles of becoming an entrepreneur. So hopefully one day, you know, they'll go out and, and start their own business and be successful. But even if they don't, uh, the different activities that our kids can participate in to learn entrepreneurship type you know activities the lessons learned will still toughen them up and help them succeed no matter what they do in life well let's talk about a few of those activities give me some ideas or give parents some ideas of some things that they can do to their for their children to teach them to be an entrepreneur yeah yeah Here, here's the number one th- thing that all parents don't want to hear from their kids hey mom dad I want to do a lemonade stand you know you don't you got to go do the lemonade you got to go buy it you got to make it you got to get the cups and and so forth and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to do that, and it's it just becomes kind of a frustrating process. And so we sometimes just tell our kids, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Let's not do a lemonade stand, you know, or another day, another time. But it's a huge lesson for them to understand the principles, take them to the store, buy the lemonade, have them make it, understand how much it costs, and 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 deduct it from the profits. And also they get to enjoy the proceeds and maybe buy something for themselves, that sort of thing. Yeah, exactly. They get to make the signs. They get to market it, do do whatever the things are. And so if you actually take those opportunities and take the time to teach them how to be an entrepreneur with the business, huge, huge lessons for kids. We were talking a little bit before before we did this taping about um, how... The, the the positives and negatives of just paying for donations such as raffles or when kids are going around with candy bars. Little League. Talk and, a little and, bit. And, of, and stuff like exactly. that. My wife and I, and we've been guilty of this, <laughs> uh, but we're so tempted to, to let's just cut a check to the school. Let's cut a check to the Little League. We don't want to have the kids call the, you know, the neighbors, the family and all that. But it's a great opportunity because chances are your kids can either grow up to be an entrepreneur or they're going to grow up to be in sales. And so it's a great opportunity to to teach them the life lessons. What happens with, you know, the the feeling, the good feeling you get when you succeed at a sale, what it feels like to be rejected because having that is, a pitch ready when you walk up a pitch to a door, ready, right? How to how to look somebody in the eye, how to shake their hands. Mm-hmm. But then you also got to balance. You also always want to set your kids up for success. You know, so you got to be careful where you let them go because too many no's. You don't want them to have to start off with a bad experience. Right. But they're, everything that you do with things like that, you can teach your kids life lessons. The earlier they learn it, the, the more successful they'll probably be, probably be growing up. Perfect. Well, there you have it. This has been KTAR's Eyes on Parenting. I'm Corbin Carson, father of four, one in college, one in high school, one in kindergarten, and one in diapers. Chances are I'm facing a question you're facing. If so, hit me up on Twitter. Maybe we'll use your topic on our next show. I'd like to thank Mike Weinstein. It's business time on KTAR. We'll see you next time, folks.